Okay, so this is just a quick video of a strange incident that happened to me in Dick's Sporting Goods. And I emphasize the word Dick's Sporting Goods because um, that's what uh, that store is. Uh, the name really fits the bill. Anyway, um, I haven't been in Dick's Sporting Goods for several years, actually, since um, after the tragedy in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, uh, 2012. I haven't been in there um, because I didn't agree with their policies. And basically what happened was the psychopath that, you know, committed the tragedy in, in Newtown, he attempted to buy a rifle in Dick's Sporting Goods and they turned him down. I think he was underage and he never got the rifle. But after he committed the atrocity that he did, the store, Dick's, decided to take it upon themselves and no longer sell rifles. They said it's just the right thing to do, even though, quite frankly, they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't sell a rifle to this person. So anyway, I haven't been in there for a while because I, I, I just thought that was kind of ridiculous. And anyway, today I was driving back along the highway um, after picking someone up at the airport and I saw a Dick's Sporting Goods and I said, let, let me stop in there because I, I, I could, you know, get some ammo. Anyway, I go in there and uh, I go, go uh, upstairs to the uh, hunting department and I see, you know, archery equipment, I see knives, I see flashlights, I see, you know, camping equipment. And, um, and then there's a little sign that says ammo. And so I go over to the shelf and I'm looking and I only see rifle ammo. And uh, so I'm looking, I'm thinking maybe, maybe I, you know, just looking on the wrong shelf. And a guy comes over, he goes, can I help you, sir? I'm like, yeah, where's the pistol ammo? And he goes, oh, we don't sell pistol ammo. I said, oh, why not? And he goes, well, um, you know, since 2012, it, we didn't feel it was appropriate. And I said, what? And he says, yeah, you know, since 2012 with the incident in Newtown, we don't think that's appropriate to sell pistol ammo. So I said, you know, that just doesn't make any sense because the person uh, used a rifle. And, you know, what, what, how is pistol ammo more dangerous than, um, you know, rifle ammo? And he goes, well, sir, that's just the store policy. I'm like, okay. I said, all right, let me, uh, you know, let, let, let me get out of here. And with that, the manager came over. He goes, is there an issue, sir? I said, well, now that you're asking, I said, I think there is an issue. I says, uh, I don't agree with your policies, but I realize, you, you know, you're just a worker here and, and you don't make such uh, rules or anything like that. But for you not to sell pistol ammo because you think it's just the right thing to do, but you sell rifle ammo, which, you know, uh, technically is more dangerous, more powerful than a pistol. But, um, you know, it, it, I think it's just a preposterous idea and it's a stupid idea. I says, but hey, I'm not going to argue with you. I haven't been in here for four years and I'll never come back again. And he goes, well, we're sorry you feel that way, sir. It's just that, you know, we have certain, you know, rules and this and that. You know, as a matter of fact, um, we also don't allow concealed carrying in our store. And I realized that um, I'm just wearing like a, a short sleeve shirt today, a golf shirt, you call it. And I realized that I had this Springfield XDS in my appendix. And I guess the, the, the grip was sort of sticking out. And I guess he noticed that. And he goes, so you would not be concealed carrying in our store, would you, sir? And I said, oh, of course not. And he goes, of course, there is a sign at the front door. And I said, well, actually, I, I didn't see any sign at the front door. I says, but listen, no problem, guys. I'm leaving now anyway. Again, I'm not coming back. And I says, but by the way, why is no concealed carrying allowed inside a sporting store? This is not a, a, a ballet uh, store. It's not a flower shop. It's not a yarn store. It's a sporting store. You know, so I, I, I don't understand that. You sell knives, you sell rifle ammo, so I don't understand why concealed carry would not be. And, you know, he was going to give me an answer, and I just stopped him. I said, you know what, I really don't care. It just doesn't even matter. And I said, so I'm leaving now. And then I patted the uh, gun on my waistband, and I said, yes, we'll, we'll both be leaving, me and my friend. 
and that's it. So anyway, just a quick story. Don't go to dicks. They are such hypocrites. They make no sense. Uh, you know, let's sell rifle ammo, but not pistol ammo because that's more dangerous. And, uh, and that's it. And again, a sporting store that doesn't allow you to uh, conceal carry is not quite sporting. So once again, um, I think the name perfectly fits uh, the, the term, you know, dicks is definitely for dicks. And uh, that's it. I've never seen a store with the more appropriate name at all. So that's my little rant about Dick's Sporting Goods. All right. Take care.